Hello. Thank you for joining me for the opening of this wonderful global forum on shared humanity. My name is Jonathan Hollander, and I'm the founder and artistic director of Battery Dance here in New York City. Battery Dance exists to create lasting social impact by increasing human understanding through the universal language of dance. Like all artists, we hope to create beautiful, inspiring works and perform them in theaters around the world, which we've done for the last 45 years. But we also are deeply concerned about our community, whether it's a small community right here in Manhattan with New York City Public Schools or around the world in the 70 countries where we've had the wonderful opportunity to work as educators, as performers, as artists. In 2006, we launched a new initiative called Dancing to Connect. This program was first started in Germany, Cambodia, and New York City Public Schools. And since then, the project has taken us to 60 countries around the world, where we've been able to help young people find the creativity within themselves that perhaps they didn't even know before. Using teamwork and creativity, we don't come in and create prefabricated choreography. Instead, we elicit movement from the participants themselves. And we've done this with North Korean refugees in South Korea, with Roma in Romania, in Iraq with a dancer, who danced in secret, in hiding, and in India with young women who were rescued from human trafficking. This is all contained in a film called Moving Stories. But today, I'm delighted to share with you a film that was made in October 2020 during the pandemic when Battery Dance and other arts organizations in New York and around the world were challenged to find new ways to connect with audiences, with young people. In this particular instance, we were working with students in Germany. Our dancer, our teaching artist was located in California and through Zoom, she was communicating with a group of refugees and German students in the city of Kassel. And over the period of 20 hours of workshop time, the young people created teamwork, esprit de corps was created, and everyone came together to find something that they didn't know existed before, their own ability to choreograph a dance. So what you're going to see was created by students in Kassel who were living through the isolation and the disjointed lifestyle of students who couldn't go to school every day, students who couldn't uh, have the usual kind of social lives that they would have in their city. They wore masks every day, they practiced social distancing, and when it came time to capture the movement that they themselves had created, they went outside and explored their own city using dance as the medium. So what you're going to see is a battery dance, Dancing to Connect for Refugee Integration Project, Shared Humanity, Fostering Shared Humanity, which is what this entire global summit is about. And I'd like Yanja to show the film now, please.
Thank you.
Thank you for watching that piece. Um, when I see it again, and I think of what the students were going through in Germany and all over the world during the pandemic, I'm so happy that they were able to have the opportunity to get physical, to get together and be creative. This is what it's all about for us. Dancing to foster shared humanity. Thank you. Frank Jürgen, Richter, and Harassis, and Yoncha for allowing us to open the session today. Thank you so much.